It's Fair Ye, we on Tyler Talk TV. L3 shit, free the man. You know the fuck going on. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking yeah, sneak the interview. It's Lil Lil. It's Alex. Body murder. It's Young Lil man. Goon of Jerry Rich Pace. Big Riff Bit. Big Flop 187. Mine's Baby Out, aka Slim Rich. And why is Jerry? It's 3 0. Lil Boy on DDB. It's K Prime. Tune in to Voice of the U. Taco Talk TV, we know the fuck you got. Um, do you think your life would have been different if you would have never served that undercover? Um, uh, actually, uh, uh, man, a lot of best are playing it, so, you know what I'm saying? This is my, this is my story, this is my book, so, okay. yeah, a lot of best are playing I think, I think, um, I was just trying to see if you, if you think that was, like, one of the, Crazy point that you know what I'm saying turn you who you are, but if it's just a situation, you know what I'm saying shit. Just nah, it's it's, it's 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 a learning learning experience. I don't remember that shit. It was a learning experience. Yeah, like you think about it to this day. Want some? Want some? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't. I don't uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have served the undercover if I ain't jump rotation. Cause like if you've been, you know, you know what's going on. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you, you think like something to go wrong and you will base it down back to that like damn this happening not because of that but it's a lesson that you know what i'm saying you feel like you need no, to learn not really, not really. oh you learned it okay take the deal with it back yeah i say that you want to pay attention to them lessons i feel like sometimes you might run into that shit over and over again. No, for real. um how did you become the man of woodland um well like i was i used to play for, for not in, like in the community, like I played for the Woodland Tigers, like not in the community. Yeah, yeah, I came because yeah. like coming up, Barry Farms ain't had no football team. Yeah, you feel me? So they team was mixed with that. Yeah, no, nah, uh, uh a lot of my friends like ain't play football. Like it was probably me and somebody. This dude, his son played football yeah. for Woodland already, He's, and we used to play. He said, "I'm gonna take you up there," and he took me up there. Okay. Yeah. Respect. Hey, would you say you, you're an introvert or extrovert? I'm normally good with like words and shit. I don't even know what introvert and extrovert means. Oh, oh. Uh, introvert is like you you better off fucking with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You get energy banned by yourself. Like, and extrovert is you start going up when you start, you know what I'm saying, being with other people when they ain't nah, like, nah, as of right now, you know, I feel like I'm like the first. I like being by myself. Yeah. You see, I'm in here by myself. Yeah. Yeah, Facts. I like yeah. being by myself, man. Yeah. I like that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing to worry about. I ain't worried about nothing with God. It's just yeah. peace of mind. I just, I, yeah. I just, 90% of the time, 92, 94% of the time, I'm by myself. Respect. Respect. What can you think about, um, what can you remember about Marion Barry when he was growing up? Like, like. Uh, uh, I got a few memories. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. That's a piece of mind, bro. I ain't gonna. Yeah. I can tell you some stuff, bro. Yeah. That's a piece of mind, bro. I just remember. Uh. You know about uh. uh we went to his house up on, up his past Baloo when I was young. Uh, we used to go to his house. Past Baloo. Oh, he made that little, it's up there by the fire station. I remember going to the car. I remember him driving through the neighborhood, his little gold Jaguar, you know. Ah, man, that's like that. Yeah. That's like that. Niggas can't say they got that going on. They or they can't even remember that. Um, what else changed in DC when the music scene started to shift from go go to rap? Like outside of the music, what else changed? Um, like outside, like I come up like in D DC used to be like real territory. Mm -hmm. Like you stay within your respective communities, yeah. and I think even I think like the older you got, like it's like it's different now. First, like I think like now more people will shake your hand. Back then it was more like mug you. Yeah, you like you feel me? Yeah, he's like you were from you from this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think that as you get older. That's what I think for us. It's more like it's nah, more it's restricted. It's not a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's and that could be that. treacherous too though. Yeah, no, nah, definitely you definitely gotta move smart. 
That's the best. That's the best I can say. You bet. You need to move slow. Nah, for real. Um, what year did you start rapping? Um, I, I, I been, I been in and out of, I been in and out of jail a lot. Like, yeah. I been losing track of the years. I know I been home probably this time since like 2016. I was just at uh, South One. If you up in the DC jail, you know South One is free, free clearly. My man, Clax. I was just out in South One in the hole. I had started back rapping, I think, over DC Jail. But my partner rap, he just ain't really. My partner rapping, free rally, he over the jail. He all, since we was kids, you know how some people say, well, you know, when you say what you want to be when you grow up, he, I, I used to want to be a football player. He always wanted to be like Jay Z. Like, he, I'm like, I used to think it was odd, like, yeah. I'm gonna be a rapper when I grow up, you feel me? Yeah. Alright, and as we got older, he started doing it, but he went to jail. Wow. And, and like, I used to be in the studio with him all the time. And you know how you help each other with the lyrics? Yeah. And you know, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He like, bro, you might as well do this shit. I'm like, nah, that shit ain't. I'm shy for real at the time. Yeah. I'm more like, nah, bro. No, I know I could do it, but I'm shy, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to like, help him. Yeah. Or whatever, but certain of my homies knew I could rap, like, knew I could rap, but like, no. Um, so I be like, I stopped playing with that shit. Like, I be like 17. I knew I could rap, but I was like 17. Fine. I probably, I, pro I probably been taking this series since like 2016, on and off. I had little songs with my man Mark, rest in peace, little Mark. Yeah. He knew I was hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was still kind of shy a little bit, so I just rapped to the homies, but nobody knew I could rap to him. Damn. <laughs> so, so now you, you, better, you better start taking it serious? Yeah, nah, I'm free. I done did everything else but being married and so yeah, fuck. I be trying to, it's like, even like recently, I be taking kickbacks from the rap, like, Making excuses, that I get mad. If something happened in my life, I all rap me the first thing. Like, man, fuck that shit. Yeah. Keep putting it instead of. You gotta put your pain in the music instead of me, cause I'm unfamiliar to it. Yeah. I just stray away from it. Wow. That's why I haven't like being consistent. I'm getting back to being consistent. Yeah. See, that's why I've been dropping back to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely dropping back to back. Um, now that's like that though. 